You asked for it, so here it is. In this video, we're going to walk through how to clean the roller on your A3 and A4 thermal copier. Let's get started. Over time, your copier's roller will pick up dirt, debris, and of course dyes from everyday use in your shop. This can impact your copier's performance and damage the carrier sheet, which will in turn affect your stencils. Be sure to check the rollers on a regular basis or when your carrier sheet begins to show signs of wear. As always, consult your manual before getting started. Turn down the speed to low. This will give you more control and will ensure you don't miss anything when you're advancing the roller. That also helps to protect your fingers. Start things off using compressed air to clean out any large pieces of paper or dust particles while being careful to avoid the fan. No compressed air, no problem. Just blow on it like it's a classic Nintendo game cartridge. That should do the trick. Here's all you need to get the job done. All right, now they're ready. Let's clean that roller. Starting from one end, work across the roller with the alcohol wipe, using the towel to wipe away any excess. Once you're happy with that section, advance the roller and repeat. It's that easy. Make sure you have plenty of wipes on hand. Believe me, you're going to need them. Brad is our in-house Paneka repair dude. Here are some tips he's picked up along the way from cleaning your copiers over the years. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video in which we answer the age old question, how many tattoo artists does it take to change a copier bulb?